everybody, I just found my Inej bookmark. Oh my gosh, you guys are here for an iconic moment. I had it on tape. <gasps> she was in Macbeth this whole time. I really thought, oh, I thought I left her in a library book. Oh my gosh, she's like really like, her, the sun, she's very like, her color's kind of gone but, and she's a little, but it's Inej. I found her in Macbeth. <laughs> of course, she's in this old Scottish play, everybody. But I'm really happy I just caught that on tape. Okay. Celebrating Poetry Appreciation Month, I just want to do a quick video and run through some popular poets that you guys have probably heard of and kind of talk about which ones I like and what type of poetry I lean more towards. I just want to help expose you guys a little bit more to poetry and hopefully get some recommendations out there that you can explore on your own and kind of see what you like. There are so many well-known poets out there. We have a lot of classical poets. Shakespeare, for example, has written many, many plays and he has a lot of sonnets that would be considered poetry. So Shakespeare is probably one of the most well-known classical poets. I really like a lot of older poets and a lot of really popular ones. I love Emily Dickinson. You may have heard of Hope is a Thing with Feathers or Because I Could Not Stop for Death. Emily Dickinson is of course a very popular poet. I like reading her works. And also we have T.S. Eliot, Robert Frost, Sylvia Plath, who is one of my favorites, Edgar Allan Poe, and Ralph Waldo Emerson. I have such a hard time saying his name. Those are some of the older poets that are very, very popular that I'm sure you've probably read when you were in school and studying literature and English and whatnot. So I actually really love a lot of those poets. I really appreciate their work. I love the darker writing and the gritty, really concrete diction that allows such amazing images to come into your head when you're reading. I like poetry that leans towards that fashion. I love strong word choices. I love really powerful visuals that come up in poetry. One of my favorite poets, of course, is Sylvia Plath, so I do have her collected poems. There are a lot of other books out there with Sylvia Plath's writing, of course, so many. I just found this one and really enjoyed it. She had a really hard life. She really struggled with mental illness and suicide, so her writing is very dark and it shows that struggle that she had with herself and with others. I really like her work, though, and she will remain one of my favorites. I love Edgar Allan Poe as well. You may know Annabelle Lee and The Raven. Those are some of his most popular works. I want a book of all his work because like he's so amazing and I love reading it over and over again. But nowadays poetry is a little lighter. I mean it does still face dark topics. A lot of the poetry that I've been seeing it's a lot less wordy and not quite as creative in terms of writing. There's a lot of amazing poets out there. I have a hard time finding stuff I like which is why I lean more towards the older poets and their works. We have some more popular ones now. We have uh, Rupi Carr, Carr, I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong, She Wrote Milk and Honey, and that was really popular when it came out, and I'm sure it still is. That one is okay for me. There's just not a lot of words, and I like diction in poetry, and I like strong images. There's also Rumi, who has a lot of really nice poetry, and we have Cordy Peppernell, which I have one of her books, Pillow Thoughts. So a lot of poetry these days focuses a lot on relationships with others and with yourself and they are very inspiring. They are really lovely in their own way. Most of her poems are really short though and while they're nice to read at the time, it's, it doesn't quite appease me as much as other poetry. I also have this book by Alpha, it's called The Midthirsty Vines. Again, very short, very simple reads. If you guys are interested in checking out any kind of poetry, this might be your style to go for because it isn't super hard to break down. It's easy to read, there's not a whole lot that goes into it, but it is still really nice and it is a nice form of poetry that you may like exploring. And then another popular author that you can find all over social media is Atticus. His first book is called Love Her Wild. He has a lot of really amazing works and they are the same kind of concept of relationships and love and loss and dreams, that type of thing. They're very inspiring, motivational, but also heartfelt and truthful and honest in that way. A lot of poets these days focus on things that a lot of people can relate to in terms of relationships and what they've gone through. And I do prefer the older poetry because I do like the images and I like that it's all really different from each other. And in terms of writing and what the story is, I just really prefer like the older stuff. 
out. That's, that's just what I prefer. But yeah, Amanda Lovelace has some poetry out there that also is kind of similar to Ruby Carr's. If you're interested in lighter works, definitely check out Instagram. Social media has a lot of poetry and a lot of awesome authors on there. And then the older stuff is all over the internet. The poetry Foundation website is such a great website and a great tool for you guys to access. I'll leave a link for that down below where you can learn more about different poets and their works. I hope this is a good introduction for poetry and kind of helping you guys find authors you may like. Feel free to explore the world of poetry. I know it seems kind of intimidating or boring, but it is really lovely and I think it's important to take this month, take some time just to look up a new poem. Even if you just read one poem per day, you're still growing in literature and understanding and soon maybe you'll really like poetry like I did. <laughs> I'm going to finish this video just by reading a short poem by Sylvia Plath. She is my favorite poet and I just want to share that with everybody. This isn't one of my most favorite poems. She just has so many and I didn't want to dig through all this. I'm just going to read one that's pretty short for you guys. Dark wood, dark water. This wood burns a dark incense. Pale moss drips in elbow scarves. Beers from the archaic bones of the great trees. Blue mists move over a lake thick with fish. Snails scroll the border of the glazed water with coils of ram's horn. Out in the open, down there, the late year hammers her rare and various metals. Old pewter roots twist up from the jet-backed mirror of water, and while the air is clear, hourglass sifts a drift of gold pieces. Bright water lights are sliding their coits one after the other down bowls of the fur. And that's it! That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Erika Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!